Here at a pretrial conference for the Amber Spradlin murder case today, Judge Eddie Coleman, special judge in the case, heard motions for a bond reduction for MK McKinney. The bond currently is $5 million and they're asking that it be lowered to a surety bond of $1 million. But also significant, those expecting a quick trial date and conclusion in the Amber Spradlin murder case, the wait will be much longer. Floyd County Commonwealth's attorney Brent Turner said that it could be as far out as next summer before all state lab evidence, such as DNA results, are available. They're awaiting Judge Coleman's decision on the bond. Um, he's a good judge. We've dealt with him in other cases. I've tried cases with him in the past as a special judge, and um, I have confidence in him that he'll uh, make the right decision. Obviously, we made it clear our position is that we object to the bond being lowered and we don't believe he needs to be out. I do believe he's a danger, uh, but uh, it's ultimately up to the judge and I can say as a, from our office and the family, uh, we'll respect the decision that he, that he makes, but we hope it's uh, to keep him in. As for a decision on the bond reduction, McKinney's attorney, Steve Romines, asked for the $5 million in cash be lowered to a $1 million property bond. Coleman said he would take the matter under consideration and possibly make a decision on Monday. In regard to the discovery issue uh, that's been addressed, the Commonwealth is going to provide us the additional evidence they have that we requested and you know, we'll process and get through that and be ready to litigate the case as it comes. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. For Debbie Hall, Amber's aunt, who has been at the media forefront since Spradlin's body was found on June 18, 2023, she said she obviously wished a decision had been made today. Um, the bond hearing today, uh, hopefully uh, it'll be Monday before we get a re ruling on it, but I'm just hoping that the evidence uh, was disclosed in court today is going to be enough to keep the bond from being lowered. I'm uh, hoping that uh, we'll keep the $5 million full cash bond. Uh, I feel like MK is a danger and I also feel like he is a flight risk. His parents have already proven they'll do anything that they possibly can to try to help him get away with a murder and I don't know why we should expect any better out of him if he's out on bond. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Compton.